Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel and welcome to this first episode of my reaction to your dream bike build. And let's start off with the first submission I've got for you guys from Jazz and it's a track lacrosse bike. So if you wonder what is a track lacrosse bike, well basically it's what happens when you mix a cyclocross bike with a track bike and you get that. I'm kind of a sucker for single speed stuff anyway. So let's take a look at this dream bike build submission right now. So Jazz's submission is for a Maverick Yedan SS, which is offered in two colors. There's the tan and the pink. I like the pink one, but I think that Jazz is gonna go for the tan one. It's made of Reynolds 725, so it's steel. Uh, the fork is steel as well. It's got a few accessory mounts, so you can see on their website there's one with a front rack which looks pretty rad. Super cool frame set, very relaxed and modern geometry with like a super high bottom bracket but like slacker head to mangle which I kind of like. Uh, personally, I prefer that. It's kind of a mix of a commuter bike, track across bike. It's really interesting, it's got removable brake boss if you want to ride it fixed or if you want to install brakes and run a freewheel, you can simply add on those brake bosses, which makes for a super clean look on the frame. So let's take a look at what else Jazz wants to build this bike with. So did you write carbon hubs? Ooh, not sure about that. Carbon flange hubs. I, I don't know. I don't know if that would be my pick, but it's super original from what you see out there. Digiride is a company that makes carbon chain rings, but they also make a few other components like hubs. That's probably not the hub that I would personally use. Rims, Zip 404. Yeah, that's, why not 303s? Maybe they're more versatile, but maybe the looks of the 404s would, uh, yeah, I, I like it. I like the idea of the 404 rims on Digiride carbon hubs. I'm guessing probably DT Swiss Aerolite or Sapim 6 Ray in black, most probably black spokes. And the Zip 404 as well as the Zip 303s are tubeless rims. So yeah, I like, I like it, I like it. Moving on to the cockpit, which is super interesting. Jazz wants to use a deluxe titanium integrated bar and stem combo. Let's take a look at that. This is crazy. This is some crazy stuff here. Wow, I like the idea of, I don't know, like, yeah, this is, this is really good looking. Like, I absolutely approve of that choice. Wow. And they, they make like a oil slick version, Pfft, that's crazy. Okay, what else does he want? TRP Mini V brakes, brake levers, Paul X Simworks anodized. The only thing that Jazz didn't mention in his bike build was the seat post. So let's see if we can find one. Considering that he already picked titanium components, let's try to find a titanium seat post. I'm guessing that maybe Deluxe Cycles are making one. Let's try and find one. Look at that, they make one. It's sold out. Titanium seat post, 27.2, 350mm. That would be compatible with the Yedan SS frame set. Why not? You know, all tie, crazy. Yee, that's a really old saddle. <laughs> Come on, Deluxe. This is, how old is that? I really like their logo. It's got something. Moving on. Oh, he wants to go with a EE -E Wings tie crank set. Wow, let's take a look at that. Those things are, <laughs> that's crazy. I mean, if you go with a titanium integrated bar, you might as well go with the <laughs> tie crank set, which is absolutely crazy stuff. I'm guessing he's gonna go with 170 to keep the crank short and not in anything if he's going to ride it fixed. Now the chain ring, I think the chain ring might be an issue with this because it uses the SRAM 3 bolt standards. Let's see what he wants for a chain ring. Uh, he's gonna go with Digirite again, uh, narrow wide 14 tooth. So it's a carbon chain ring. Oh, and look at that. They make a direct mount version for that chain ring, which is pretty cool. Chain, HKK Blue. NGS certified, it's always good. The cog, a Nova Corona titanium cog. Wow, this is, <laughs> I mean, the Thai theme is going all the way here. So Nova Corona is a Japanese company, primarily make track frames. So they've got two models, the Fierté and the Rapido. The saddle Pro Stealth, you know, saddle is a personal choice. I personally don't like uh, those saddles. They're way too thick at the front. Uh, grips, lizard skins, lock on. Yeah, I mean, grips are grips. And tires, Continental, Terra Trail front and Terra Speed rear. Really good combo, super light. 
probably tubeless with the zip 404s which would make sense i would personally use a some sort of insert like a tire insert to protect the rims especially on a single speed setup or a fixed gear setup you really don't want to get a flat tire i would strongly recommend jazz to get some inserts so yeah good choice of tires super fast combination with like a lot of grip in the front which I think is a good idea. I was going through my Instagram and I found out that Gravel Goon, so you can follow him on Instagram at Gravel Goon, has a very, very similar bike. Like he's built a Maverick Yedan. He took the pink one, changed the fork for a Whiskey number no. seven. The first thing that catches my eye is the chub hub in the back. I know they've been discontinued and they've been like really hot, I guess, early 2010 or something like that, but I've always wanted one and I'm looking at that and I'm like, yeah, I want one. Oh, I've been looking for them like for a while now. I haven't found any, like even used, like no one sells them. They're either trash and <laughs> everybody threw them away or they're so good that no one's ever gonna get rid of them. If you have a chub hub somewhere and it's like in a good condition, maybe hit me up on Instagram but <laughs> moving on with Gravel Goons uh, Yedan he's using zip components for the cockpit so a zip service course SL88 handlebar service course SL120 stem a service course SL a seat post a Brooks C15 cambium saddle I mean if you can rock it that's cool man like my, I personally can uh, SRAM Omnium crank set Arn A A Ron A A Arn chainring 47 tooth man that's huge KMC chain whatever LCD standard cog velocity L Ron 650B rims and Pirelli Centurado gravel H 650 by 46 tires again built on those chub hubs eh, this bike looks good look at that. Imagine this pink bike with the 404 rims. Eee, that would look good. So that's it for this week's submission. What do I think about that? Well, I'm a huge fan of single speed bikes. So I'm all down with that. I absolutely agree with you know everything on there. It's just a super expensive bike, but it's great. It looks absolutely amazing. I mean, imagine rocking a EE Wings TI crankset on your single speed bike. That's crazy, crazy, crazy. Thanks Jazz for submitting your dream bike build and thanks to Gravel Goon for uh, allowing me to display his bike on my channel. And if you wanna submit your own dream bike build, message me on Instagram. Let me know in the comment section what you think about this track cross build. I hope you enjoyed it. See you soon.